Hello there everyone and welcome to another video of World of Tanks by Minxter50. This one, I'm afraid to say, is a camping video and you'll see why. <laughs> yes, I know I don't like camping but when, when you see the map and you see what we've actually got to do, you'll kind of understand and, and as you see it, as it goes along it's a little bit boring at the start of it but don't worry about it, it soon uh, hots up and you see some uh, interesting things from my KV here. Again, currently my favourite tank, so if you bear with me, I will show you the map. Right, so here we go. We've got to defend the top left, and they've got the two spawn points in the bottom right. Now they've got a nice sniping position in between those uh, two points there, which I'm sure they're going to be using during the match. You could sit at the back and do nothing. Um, no, it's not. It's not the best. Uh, not the best tactic. We do move out a little bit, but when you see what happens on one of the flanks, you'll understand. I've kind of got to move forward a little bit. Now the scouts are on the way out. The tank destroyers are taking the flanking position, and it's a matter of waiting. Oh, ow! There goes uh, somebody already from the artillery. So he got spotted and got nailed. So I'm guessing the artillery quite good at their job. Now at this point here I'm going to move away and try and take a bit of positioning over on the far flank. Doesn't look like the other heavies moved an awful lot but this tends to be what happens on this map. Everyone waits, waits for all the action to happen so it's kind of all explosive right towards the end so I'm going to make way over to the other side. Now I know the artillery is pretty good. I'm not going to poke my head out too far. Just having a quick check of the the map again, seeing what's happening. Our light's out there on its own, so I'm going to give him some support. Let's see what's going to come over from that side. He's taking some hits there. Oh, this isn't good. Looks like the tank destroyer's got him. Ouch. Right, we're down to four. This is this is not looking good. So I've got a nice viewpoint down here. Let's see if anyone's coming. Because if the timer runs out in this battle, all that happens is we win automatically. So this is the main reason why it turns into a camping session. And I do like these uh, smaller numbered battles when there's not enough people to play, but they put 7v7 it makes it rather tense so I'm getting myself a nice hold down position here and hopefully this will do me some good let's see who's going to appear ooh the tension come on somebody show yourself And that is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> Got a little ping there from probably one of the tank destroyers. Maybe the tier 3. Hit him. Bang. Ouch. Right, I can't take another hit like that. That's me out and game over if I take another hit. So, I'm backing it off. I know this Japanese one's pretty slow. It's going to take him some time to get over there. But I'll try and keep him honest. Put my head out a few times, see if I can see him. Yep, they don't seem to be in particular hurry. They're just hoping to snipe at us and beat us into submission. And then, whoa! Artillery's getting frustrated. Lobbing some shots in, hoping to hit me. Well, I'm staying in cover. There he is. Now, which way is he going to go? Is he going to come straight for me? Yes, he is. This is not good. I need to keep some cover in the way. Oh, right, now there's a tank destroyer. Right, now I need to move my ass pretty fast. Now, I'm backing it up here. I don't want to waste any time trying to spin around. I'm that slow. 
come on, back it up. Get up that hill. So if we lose another tank, pretty sure. There we go. It's looking like it's game over. But let's see if we can do some damage before before the end of this match. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. And I hit the tree. Oh, hang on. There's another one. I don't know how well you'll see this, but he's not looking at me in the right direction. Tracked him. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good night. And the little tier 3 missed me. Bang. There we go. Let's even up the odds just a little bit. Now this heavy is going to be making his way towards me now. How oh, does he come from the front? Oof. Artillery. Not good. Ouch. He suffered from the same issue I do sometimes. Not quite doing enough damage to kill me. But I need to get out of here. There's a hit. There's artillery. There's another hit. I managed to squeeze another one. There's another hit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hit again. I mean, any any of these rounds penetrate, I'm dead. Managed to damage the track. Hit again. Come round and help the tank destroy now. There we go. What a guy. So I think this guy just saved the game as well. Look at that massive gouge at the back of my turret. Could have easily killed me. Right. There's an artillery strike. Now a little tip that I always use is if that's where the artillery strike lands, park your tank quite close by. Because usually they don't try and fire in the same point twice. So now the ball's back in their court. Let's see what they can do. Now, it looks like our tank destroyer is doing some spotting. I'm guessing his camouflage is quite good. And they're hoping to attract some rounds. Oh man. <laughs> it's all on me. This is where the pressure and the tension gets quite high now. Because if I don't one shot something that turns up, we are done and dusted. Now, the time is running down quite nicely, just over two and a half minutes. Let's see if anyone turns up. So, while the tension's building up, I'll uh, just uh, let you know. I'm playing this on my new Project Scorpio. Super, super happy with it. And I do like the way that uh, this is optimised as well for 4K gaming, so it does look very, very pretty. Now, where's this guy going? Come on, turn... Because if he comes from the front here, like I say, I've got one shot. One shot, that's that, that's it. Uh, if I don't one shot whatever turns up, I'm screwed. And if those mediums are untouched, which I suspect they are, then it's game over. So, I do play lots of other machines. Apart from my, uh, my new Xbox, I've got lots of things to try, lots of things to play and show you. So if you do have any ideas, please do leave something in the comments. I would love it if anyone could like and subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to know when my next video is going to land. I am also planning to do some live streams just so you can see uh, my viewpoint when I'm aiming in uh, sniper mode. See some of the shots. Looks, uh, looks way more effective, so uh, hopefully I can then start doing uh, some maybe one, two or even some three hour streams. You'll see some good games. You will, of course, see some bad ones. So you're going to see in a second their push because we're down to the final minute. Here we go. Excellent. There goes one of the mediums. Oh, look at this. Surprise, surprise. Bang. Now, I'm quite surprised the artillery went there. Guessing that other medium just wanted to uh, to hang back and wait for us to do something really silly, like stick our noses out. So he's telling me where the other guy is, but it's a kind of a bit pointless. 
Yeah, it's not worth poking your head out because there's 20 seconds left. He's not going to get here. I'm not going to hit him, and I'll probably die and end up with a with a bill. So he gets a good game from me. And we're coming into the last few seconds. Ticking down. And a good game from him. Yep. Well played. And that is all. So thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.